Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Learn Graphic Design with G2K Designs. I want to thank you all for coming in. So first of all, um, before we begin, I want you all to please, 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 please don't forget the subscribe button and uh, click on the bell button so that you will turn on the notification so that whenever we post any video, you'll be notified and then you can watch and learn. Okay. So without wasting much time, uh, let's get into it. So first of all, I will say we are not designing anything. We are not doing any designing, no graphic designing. This tutorial is basically for you to learn the tools in Photoshop. In some of your Photoshops, if you look at uh, this side, you will see in, in some parts, it will look like this. So it's because you clicked on these double arrows right here. Okay, If you click on it, it will form two columns. Okay, If you click, um, it will form just a single column. Anyhow you want it. But for me, I prefer it to be in two columns. Okay, Now, the very first thing here is um, the Macri tool. Okay? Now, this Macri tool is, uh, if you look here, you see the rectangular Macri tool, elliptical Macri tool, that is circle, single row, single column. Okay, So these are basically used to, you know, for me you can use it to both make selections create shapes like okay if you want to fill this with a color just know that it's going to take the color of this uh, foreground color here you can check you can click on it okay and then change the color to whatever you want okay you have to um, create a layer for it okay to create a layer just click here you see this create a new layer here you click on it and this will come up here okay you right click on this and then you click on fill the foreground color is the blue color here if you click on it you will see background color which is the one under here so i think the foreground color is okay so we click okay so you see it will take the color of this also if you want to delete a part of this okay you can i'm moving it okay still on the selection here so i can click on delete and it will actually delete the selected part okay another thing that it can do that all what i did was just uh, control z to uh, go back to this previous part another thing that it can do is that if there is anything i want to do in this selected part i can be able to do it okay for example um if i say okay let me take the brush tool for example okay and i can change the color to say black okay anything i'm doing you see i can click and do anything here it will not come here because this is not the place i selected uh, okay to work on okay so this is it so anything i do here you see if i uh, go across this uh, this line it will show in these other places okay so that is basically what this uh, tool is for okay uh, control z so Ctrl Z is just to go back once, to go back multiple times is Ctrl Alternate Z, okay? So to remove this uh, selection lines, just press Ctrl Z to the select. So it's actually, uh, it's basically for this, okay? So if you look, um, the, the selections are going, uh, they are not going proportionally. So if you want it to be a perfect square, you can click and hold on Shift, okay? And then increase or decrease, okay? it will increase proportionally but if you want it to increase uh, in all sides then as you are holding down on shift hold down on alternate two you see it will uh, increase it in all sides at the same time not just on one side when you are holding down the shift button okay so that's basically what this macro tool is used for so the next one here is the move tool so the move tool is basically what the name implies okay move tool so i draw a rectangle click on the move tool can basically you know you know move it around to wherever you want it to you know to be so another thing you should also uh, uh, do is you see this auto select make sure that you check it because if it's unchecked like this okay if it's unchecked like this and i click on it i cannot move anything because unless i i select it from the layer panel here but if it is checked even if nothing is selected once you click on it it will select it okay so that is what it does so i'm going to go ahead and delete this so the next one here is the lasso tool the lasso tool is basically a selection tool okay so this is a random picture i got online so this selection tool can actually help you to this the first one here the lasso tool can just help you to you know freehand 
okay select the parts you want and then you can delete or copy or do whatever you want to um, use it for control z okay so it's basically a selection tool this one the polygonal lasso tool is basically going to help you to make um selections okay in straight lines okay you know like the name polygon okay it can help you to make selections in straight lines depending on what you want to select okay you can either delete do anything you want to do there okay so control d to deselect so um that's basically what then the magnetic lasso tool is once you click it will um follow the lines of the outline okay and then select it um according to what you have and then you can come back you see so it's basically a selection tool okay so the next one here control d the next one here is the quick selection tool now this quick selection tool uh, you can use it to make quick selections okay so for you to increase the size the two bracket bars um the one by the left for reduction the other one is for 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 increasing it okay so the quick selection tool is uh just click and hold and just go over the place or image you want to select okay so here i can right click and then copy okay and then i drop and go back to the move tool i can click and drag it out you see I've succeeded in, uh, you know, selecting and copying this exact same image here, okay? So that's basically what the quick selection tool is. So you can actually use it to remove backgrounds, okay? As fast as possible, okay? Especially if the picture is a very good quality picture, okay? If uh, the, the edges are blurry, it might be difficult for you to, okay, see? If I have hidden this one here, so this is the only thing here. So, uh, make sure that the image you want to use the quick, quick selection tool for is a very sharp image so that it will help um it will help the selection tool to uh, get the lines very well okay so i'll go ahead and delete this so the next one that we are going to be doing is the the magic one tool. so basically the magic one tool uh is uh is used to select everywhere that has the same color so let me hide the background here so if you look at this place um you see i click on it and it will select um only the part that has exactly the same color okay i click here it selects you understand so that's basically uh what it does okay can uh okay if i want to delete anything or work on it i have to rasterize and to rasterize you just come here and right click and then click on rasterize so if i delete it will also delete so it's basically um uh what would i call it uh, a selection tool you can use it to remove your backgrounds and some other cool stuffs okay so let me go ahead and control z control d to the select okay so the next one we are going to be um talking about is the crop tool now this crop tool is just basically just like the one you for you can use it to reduce the size of the working area okay anyhow you want and click ok here and that is what you have you can do it in all sides okay you can do it in all sides okay and then click ok here and you'll be good to go so i'll go ahead and control z okay let me bring back the white background control z and then control d okay press enter okay go back to this so that is what this is um used for so this one can use to pick colors okay for example here okay i want to pick exactly the same color that is here you can click on this and then click okay so once you click okay the color comes in okay the color okay comes in so this is where the color will come in it means that anything you do anything you draw we have this same color control z let me hide this if i draw a box see it will have the same color so this can be this can help you you know when you are looking for a color to use okay and you want to make sure that you use one color throughout okay this this tool can actually help you to uh pick the colors okay the next one here is if you look here you will see different things here so it has the spots healing brush the healing brush to the patch tool and all that they all do basically the same thing but in different ways okay for example okay for example on this image here 
rasterize. If I want to clean out this free mock-up zone, I can just use this paint over it and you see it's gone. Okay, then you can do whatever you want to do here. Okay, control Z. So another thing is the healing brush tool. This healing brush tool, what it does is to increase. So what it does is hold click and hold down alternate and click to select the place you want to uh to the place you want to be your base so that you can now paint it over the, the place you want to heal okay like you want everywhere here to be red okay so you've selected this place as your base and then you can now paint over this place and then you have um uh, you have this okay so like I said, it's basically the same thing, okay? They all do the same thing, but in different ways. So another one is this one, the, the patch tool. So this one, you can just drag it to the place draw around it, it click and okay. hold down on your mouse and draw around it. And then leave it. So you see, uh, Ctrl D, you select, you see it's gone. So that's basically what this one is used for. So this brush tool is basically used to paint over Okay, something so there are different uh, brush tools. Okay, I've also downloaded and installed some of them. Okay, you can just click on it, you give it a splash. Okay, so um, you can basically there are different uh, uh, brushes that are here. Okay, there are different brushes that are here. Okay, that's what the brush tool is used for. Like I said. We are not designing, I just want you to know what um, these things are all used for. The pencil tool is basically the same thing, use it to um, can click it and then draw whatever you want to draw. So the next one here is the clone stamp tool. So this clone stamp tool, just like the name, is actually used to um, clone um, an image. For example, this eye here, just hold down on the alternates, okay? Let me reduce the size. You can hold down on the alternate here. Increase it a little bit. Hold down on the alternate here. Okay. And then click and select this place to be your base. Okay. If you see, it has copied this. So if I want, you know, I could just, you know, click. Okay. So you see, it has cloned the eye. Okay. So um, that's basically what the clone is used for. The next one here is the magic eraser tool. Okay, so this eraser tool is basically used to erase. Okay, so you just I used to clean out some things. So you see, I clean out the parts. Okay, and you want the parts control it comes back. So what the um, uh, magic eraser tool does is let me use this picture for example. Okay, this one click on it you see it removes everything that has the same pink color okay so that is what it does okay so the next one here is the gradient okay can select a layer a and make sure that the layer okay. is visible and let me just make on this one visible and, um, click on this and then you drag in and then okay you can see the gradient here Okay, you can actually change the color or the uh, the gradient color from there. You see it will change. You can click here, I select this one, drag it again, it will change. You can actually uh, click on this place and then choose your own color. You just double click on this point, choose the color you want, double click on the right point, choose the color you want, click OK, and then you call and then you drag. Okay. So that's what uh, the gradient tool is basically used for. Okay, so control Z. So the next one is the paint bucket tool. It is used to um, put in a color. Okay, maybe you want, you want to put in this color in a selected area. Okay, so you, you select it, just click inside, and you see um, the area is uh, okay, is filled with this foreground color here okay it did not go in here because this hand blocked it so but if i click here you see it will just uh follow the pattern okay so but if i had made this selection from somewhere here and then see it will just fill okay 
So that's actually basically what that is used for. The next one here is the blood tool. Okay, this blood tool is uh, just like the you can use it to blow any parts. You see, see, look at how sharp this hand is. So you can, you know, paint over it. You know, you know to blow to blow it out. Okay, so this can be used in backgrounds. Okay. Especially if you are working on a background and you don't want the background to be very, very, you know, uh, visible, you can just use the blood to, you know, to blow it out like this. Okay, so that's uh, basically what the blood tool is used for. Okay, okay the blood tool, the sharpen tool, just like the blur. Okay, the smudge. Okay, it's just also like the blur. You ju just use it to paint over. Now, this smudge too is basically what a lot of people, I, I, I'm sure you must have heard about smudging. Okay, so you, you use it to smudge pictures, okay? Or you can use it to smudge pictures, make them look like cartoons and all that. So, but that would be a tutorial for another day, okay? So, this dodge tool is to make place brighter. So, the exposure is very low, you can increase it, see? You can make a place brighter, okay? Depending on how what you want to do, and make a place, paint it over, and make it you know look brighter if it is very very dark, and uh, the bond too if it is very um, very bright, you can use the bond too you know you see, uh, kind of you know reducing the the complexion you see the person looks uh, dark okay and so that's basically what this is um is used for. So the next one is the pen tool. Now this pen tool is basically used to draw whatever you want. Okay, this is um, what a lot of us used to draw cartoons. Okay, okay, you can use it to draw cartoons on, on maybe have a picture of somebody wants a cartoon. The pen tool is what you use. After drawing this, you come here to parts. Okay, you can right click or go parts but if you right click you will see um fill parts you can fill the parts with this color when you press ok or you can um, um stroke the parts as you just want um the lines that you drew the outlines to have a stroke okay like to have a color okay you can stroke it with a brush okay you can click ok you see just outline okay you can delete you see the, the what it has created so anything you want to draw at all okay you can do that with the pen tool okay the pen tool um, can also be used to um, crop out of um, pictures especially pictures that are very blurry that the, uh, the edges are not that sharp okay so that can be used um, to do that so the next one here is the text tool so the text tool is just basically for typing anything okay okay so it's basically used for typing anything. So after typing, you click on the OK there, and this is the, the character bar. So you can click here and then choose um, the fonts you want to use. You can use any fonts you want. Okay, here is where you can um, you can increase the size here. Okay, here you can decide to make it bolder, make it italics make it um, <laughs> um, all capital letter but let me change the font so that you understand what i'm saying okay uh, let me simple fonts okay for simple fonts okay this is okay see capital and small okay if you want everything to be all capital but you want the first one to be a bit taller than the others okay you can use this you can use this one if you want some you want to raise something to the power okay all you need to do is click type what you want to type okay okay to type and then just select the one you want to make power click on this you see to make it raise to a power or you can click on it and take it down Dep depends on how you want it to be okay so that's what uh, basically what the uh, this is used for so you can change your fonts to uh, font style here so anything you want to change it to so um, maybe next time I will show you how to download and install fonts on Photoshop okay 
so um that's basically it for text so this one maybe you want to draw a shape like this and you want to tweak it a little bit you can come here this direct selection to click on the node you want you can you know change it to whatever you want it to be okay so that is basically what is is used for so you we depend to to you can add an anchor point here click and you add an anchor point there that you can you know still use the direct selection tool okay to you know do whatever you want to do so this one up here is the path selection tool you can use it to move the whole path itself okay depending on what you want to do okay so let me delete all this okay so um the next one here is the hand tool okay this hand tool is basically for example if uh maybe you are doing something and you zoom in okay so with the hand tool maybe for example um this is here and you want the other part to show you can just use the hand tool to you know you know move it this this way or that way up or down or you can still use this okay to do the same thing this or this okay to do the same thing depends on what you want okay so the last one here is the zoom tool okay the zoom tool you can uh is used for zooming in and out okay of um, your workspace so there are different ways for you to do that or uh, you can click on it the shortcut is z okay you can click your mouse and drag in or out okay to zoom in or out or you can click on the alternate and then your the roll on your mouse okay you are using a mouse the the roller on your mouse can you know use it to either zoom in or or zoom out okay these are basically what these tools are used for okay if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button so that you will be notified on when we drop um our next video next time okay thank you very much see you in the next video